What is going on guys? Zuggy Fishing here back to you with another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos if you haven't already. Make sure you guys smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and leave a comment if you haven't already. Shout of the week goes to Big Bass Fishing. Congrats on winning the shout out of the week, buddy. Guys, look for a word or phrase in quotation marks somewhere throughout this video. It could be in that corner, that corner, that corner, that corner, or in the middle, anywhere throughout the video, beginning, middle, or end. And if you guys get that word, leave it in the comment section down below for a chance to win the shout out of the week. Today's video is sponsored by Meg's Fishing Apparel. Meg's Fishing Apparel is an awesome fishing apparel company that brings you everything from short sleeve, long sleeve, and awesome other apparel. I'm actually wearing their signature Meg's Fishing long sleeve dry fit tee right now. This is the back. It has an awesome large mouth on the back with the logo. Guys, if you are a fisherman, you guys have to pick up one of these shirts. Click the link in my description. Go check out Meg's Fishing and make sure you guys follow them on Instagram. The link is in the description as well. Meg's Fishing is an awesome, awesome apparel brand out of South Florida run by four awesome, awesome kids. Meg's Fishing is defining the fishing lifestyle one shirt at a time and making you guys look awesome out there when you get those pictures of those big fish on the water. Make sure you guys go check out Meg's Fishing. The link is in the description. Go pick up one of these sweet shirts. They're not expensive at all. Beautiful dry fit stuff. Fits beautifully on me and has that awesome logo on the back you've seen before. Go follow them on Instagram. Click the link in the description. I'm going to be following back some people who follow them on Instagram. So go check them out. All right, guys, let's get right into the video. So today we're going to be talking about my favorite summertime baits. When it's hot, what baits to throw in the summer in different conditions, top water, middle of the water column, bottom of the water column, things like that, running through a few of those baits. Right here, I have my Guggen Squad bunny bag that is filled with some summertime baits. I dumped, I emptied out all of my soft plastics and put my favorite summertime baits in here. And I'm going to be going through each of these baits, telling you how to fish them, when to fish them, and why I like fishing them in the summer. All right, the first bait I'm going to cover are big worms right here. These are the Zoom Trick Worms, and these are the Guggen Baits Mondo Worms. Guys, big worms are a phenomenal bait to fish in the summer, either wacky or Texas rig. The reason for this is because bass are lazy in the summer. They are lethargic. They are slow because of the heat is beating down on the body of water, creating that warm water and that laziness in that bass. So you guys want to throw a big worm presentation and fish it slow. These things are an easy meal for bass looking to target in the summer. To start with the Guggen Baits Mondo Worm, this is what it looks like right here. I actually have some different uh, Guggen Bait Mondo Worms in this one pack. Um, I'm gonna pull out the original one that came in this pack. Guys, this is actually the type of bait I caught my personal best on. If I pop up that picture, that is what my personal best looks like. Guys, this is the Guggen Baits Mondo Worm right here. This thing is a giant 10 inch worm. The big worms in the summer work phenomenal, especially for big bass. If you guys are looking to catch some Mondo bass in the summer, you guys definitely want to be throwing a 10 inch worm and either casting it out, letting it sit on the bottom and just dragging the tip up and letting that thing drag across the bottom or I would recommend casting it out on a Texas rig and slowly retrieving it in, allowing this big curl on this worm to flutter. This is actually what I caught my PB on in the summertime in Florida, which is so awesome. And it was the biggest fish I've ever caught. And it was huge and it was one of the best experiences. And I did the exact same thing I just said. I did the slow retrieve and he hammered that thing. The next big worm I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is the Zoom Trick Worm. This is in the green pumpkin color right here. The Zoom Trick Worm is phenomenal. This is what this thing looks like. And the way I recommend this thing is using a light spinning setup and wacky rigging this thing. This worm is really light and flimsy and has really good action. Texas rig does work, but I highly recommend wacky rigging this worm. Again, what you guys wanna do, allow this thing to cast out, wacky rig it, and let it sink to the bottom, and then just simply twitch your rod tip, let the thing flutter up, and then flutter back down, creating that reaction strike easy meal for those bass. They don't have to work at all for that. They pick it up on the bottom and you're good to go and get yourself a Mondo. The next summertime bait I want to talk to you guys about are the classic Sanko. These are your 30 pack of Yum Dinger Sankos right here. Guys, this is one of the best deals I've ever seen on the fishing market. These are a 30 pack 
of Yumdinger Sankos, all in five inch for $10. You cannot beat that at all. As you've seen in my previous videos, I pretty much use the Sanko every time I go. If I go to a new pond, new body of water, the Sanko never ever fails. Guys, you could either Texas or Wacky rig these things. Basically what you wanna do is just drag your rod tip up and allow that bait to flutter on the bottom. With the Wacky rig, you can do a little jigs with your rod tip, allowing that worm to flutter up and down. But with the Texas and with the Wacky as well, just take your rod tip, drag it, allow that bait to drag along the bottom and create that reaction. Again, Sanko is a quick, easy meal for bass. They don't have to work at all. They don't have to move through get a spinner bait or a chatter bait. They are looking for a quick, easy meal. And the Sanko is a phenomenal bait. With both Sankos and big worms, what you want to try to be fishing are banks and structure. Roll these different baits along the shallow banks because bass are up shallow feeding midday and that's a phenomenal, phenomenal bait to throw up there. Also, drag it by structure and flip it near structure. Nine out of ten times in the summer, there will be a bass hanging near a fallen tree, a fallen bush, anything like that. And throwing your big worm or Sanko right past that thing will trigger that reaction strike, allowing that easy meal for the bass. The next types of baits you guys want to be throwing in the summer are creature baits. Creature baits are a phenomenal way, easy meal for a bass, just dragging it along the bottom. Right here, I have the Guggen Baits Trench Hog right here. This is a phenomenal, phenomenal bait, kind of like a lizard imitation or any creature on the bottom. And then I have the Kraken Craws right here, which is your basic crawfish imitation. I also have the Guggen Baits Bandito Bug, which is one of my favorite baits of all time right here in the Okeechobee Craw Color. This thing is so awesome. Guys, all those baits I just showed you, the Bandito Bug, the Kraken Craw, and the Trench Hog, you all want to Texas rig these things. The Trench Hog, it's better on a 4 uh Texas rig hook. The Kraken Craws are best on a 3 aught, and the Bandito Bug is best on a 3 aught too. Basically, what you want to do, just again, drag this thing along the bottom or jig it a little bit, creating that erratic action. The great thing about Guggen Baits are they have unconnectable little craws and tails and things like that that allow those erratic action so when you unclip those tails they absolutely dance in the water and it's awesome creates a reaction strike again a quick easy meal for the bass when they're lethargic in the summertime heat basically just take your rod tip bring it up drag that bait along the bottom creates a great reaction strike creature baits are a phenomenal bait to throw in the summertime Another creature bait I really like are the Zoom Lizards. These things are awesome. These things are really, really light and hard to get out there on a bait caster. So I'd highly recommend having a 3 aught Texas rig hook and a 3 8 ounce tungsten, tungsten weight in order to get it out there, drag it along the bottom and along the maximum casting distance. Guys, my boy Larry uses this thing, Larry Mountain Jr. on YouTube. His link will be in the description. He uses these things all the time and catches Alabama Giants. So guys, these things are awesome. Again, utilizing structure just like creature baits these things are phenomenal the zoom lizards 10 out of 10. the next bait i love to use in the summer is the ned rig these are z-man ned rigs right here right here we have the peanut butter and jelly color which is kind of that purple color phenomenal for where i go in florida and right here we kind of have that dark gravel color right there um guys ned rigs are a phenomenal bait to bounce off the bottom at, again quick easy meal for bass a main consensus you want to get out of this video is allow a quick easy meal for a bass and fish slower on the bottom this is the z-man ned rig right here these things are awesome. You cannot beat a Z-Man Ned Rig. The Z-Man Ned Rig is probably the best brand of Ned Rigs out there. Guys, basically what you want to do, you want to have a weighted jig hook and slide this thing right up there. So the weighted jig hook will be on top and it will allow it to uh, bounce on the bottom like that. And basically what you want to do, you want to have a spinning setup. It's a very light bait to get out there, a light spinning setup. Cast the thing out there. What you want to do is just jig your rod tip bouncing this bait along the bottom. So basically the jig head will be here. It'll be sitting on the bottom and it'll just bounce like this. It'll bounce and create that erratic dancing action right there. So guys, the Z-Man Ned Rig, phenomenal. Again, allowing that bass to have that easy meal and pick up that thing right along the bottom. Another amazing thing about the Z-Man Ned Rig, guys, look how small this thing is right here. Watch this. I'm going to take both ends and stretch it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look, this little bait turns in to that. That is insane. So basically with Z-Man, it has the Elastec Energy, which allows these baits to stretch far and not break when you catch fish, unlike many other brands. Guys, these things are crazy stretchy, crazy durable. You can catch tens and tens of fish on them, and it allows to catch some big bass, because I have caught a really, really big bass on this thing in Florida. I'll pop up a picture right now if I could find it. 
Again, guys, with the creature baits and the Ned Rig, utilize banks and utilize structure. There will nine times out of 10 be bass up on the banks feeding or near structure in the summertime. Also in the summer, at times in those really, really scorching hot days, bass will be out deep. These baits can be utilized there too. So it's a very versatile kind of baits, these baits that we're covering and allowing multiple different depths of water and different structures and different banks. Next summertime bait I like to throw is a jig. Either a swim jig or a flipping jig is fine. If it's a cooler day in the summer, I recommend throwing a swim jig. If it's a super scorching hot day, these bass are gonna be extremely lazy, utilizing shade. Highly recommend throwing the flipping football jig underneath those shade patches and overhanging branches. This is a jig from my mystery tackle box right here. This is a swim jig. This is the type of head that a swim jig usually comes with. But guys, I love fishing both. And the football head jigs, I recommend Sasquatch jigs. Those things are awesome, awesome, awesome. You've seen those in a previous video of mine um, at the private Amazon pond. So go check that out if you haven't already. A big thing with jigs you want to utilize that many people really don't are trailers. You guys think that uh, jigs have a phenomenal action themselves, they do, but in order to add more bliss to these baits, you guys want to put on a trailer. So I recommend a swim bait like a Kai Tech or a Saucy Swimmer or even a Ned Rig. These things are awesome. I actually saw one rod, one reel using a Ned Rig on this jig from his mystery tackle box and he actually kept ended up catching a really, really nice bass, which I never really thought about before because I usually use something like this or a creature bait like a bandito bug, which is a phenomenal trailer for a jig as well. So you guys wanna be utilizing swim baits, creature baits, and Ned Rigs, which is a phenomenal, phenomenal tactic for jigs. With swim jigs, you wanna cast it out, slowly retrieve that thing, let the trailer do the work. This Kai Tech right here will bounce back and forth just like that, creating an erratic motion with this tail. The bandito bug, if you unconnect those little clippers right there, craws will flutter just like that, just like an injured bluegill or bait fish. Bass are keened in on bluegill in the summer, being one of their main forage to eat. So guys, you guys wanna be imitating these. With the swim jig, that's exactly what a bass wants, an injured bluegill, and the jig matches that perfectly. Now, when you're fishing a flipping jig, you wanna cast it out basically just like a wacky rig, you know, jigging your rod tip. So basically just bounce it along the bottom, reel up the slack, bounce it along the bottom. Basically what this jig will do, this is not a flipping jig, but what it will do is you'll go like this, bounce, 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 bounce. It could imitate a crawfish, an injured bluegill, injured bait fish, anything like that. Phenomenal, quick, easy meal for bass in the summer. Now moving to the top of the water column, one of my favorite summertime baits is the popper. The popper is a phenomenal bait fish imitation on the top of the water. The reason they call it a popper is because there's this cup shaped mouth right here. And basically when you cast that thing out there and you pop your rod tip, a, this bait will move through the water like that and a span of water will come over it, just like an injured bait fish on the top of the water. You guys wanna be throwing poppers in the early morning because bait fish are on the top of the water column and bass, that means bass are on the water column. Wherever the bait fish and the bluegill are, that's where the bass are. And this is a perfect imitation for that. Allowing the bait to pop on the top of the water where that bait fish is, bass will think it's one of those bait fish that's circling around the top and grab that thing and take it down. Another one of my favorite summertime baits on the top of the water is the topwater frog. I have many frog videos on my channel, so go check those out if you haven't already. I have a full video on frog fishing, frog fishing 101, so go check that out. But the frog is a phenomenal summertime bait, especially you guys wanna utilize lily pads and structure with frogs. This is not an open water bait. You definitely do not wanna have an open body of water casting a frog in the center. The chances of a blow up are highly unlikely. You guys wanna be utilizing structure, banks, and lily pads. Basically cast this frog out and you, there's different patterns you wanna have. You can either have the fast, medium, or slow retrieve. Basically the fast one's kinda of just popping your rod tip and reeling at the same time, allowing this frog to dance and stuff like that. And when it hits those open pockets on the li lily pads or structure, it plops and then the bass blows up and they're creating that reaction strike. Phenomenal for the morning time or the medium speed, kinda of just slowly, you know, jigging it along or the slow speed where you pop, pause, Pop, pause. A pause is essential when you're frog fishing, guys. It really is. Allowing that bass to establish that there's something above their head and then making the decision to blow up on it. It's essential, giving more time for the bass to see it. And when it hits those pockets, you definitely want to pause. Guys, today we covered multiple different summertime baits. We covered, covered everything from Sankos to creature baits 
to big worms, to poppers, to frogs, to Ned rigs, and much, much more. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment down below. I love you guys so much, and we're almost at 9,000 subscribers, which is nuts. Make sure you guys have post notifications turned on to be notified every single time I upload a YouTube video. Also, guys, check out the description for all my social medias, and go follow me on all of those. Also, huge thanks to Meg's Fishing for sponsoring this video. Go check out their classic tees. It's a fishing lifestyle brand. Go check it out. Guys, they have awesome logos on the back. Tons and tons of awesome designs and things like that. So please go check them out. Their link is in the description. Also, go follow their Instagram. I will be following back a bunch of people who follow that. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Be positive. Just fish.